Hi. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your last turning point of the month of February. Your last terrific Tuesday of the month. Tuesday, February 28, 2023. Today, we're going to be talking about episode 483. Yeah, 483. And we're going to be learning how to be slow to chide. I guess that's how you pronounce it. C-H-I-D-E. Our beginning passage is Psalm 103, verse 14. But we'll be reading it in the recommended reading, Psalm 103, 11 through 14. Our turning point is from Henry Light, L-Y-T-E. And our Bible reading is Deuteronomy 23, 24, and 25. And I'm forewarning you, I don't have the new book, the March book for the Turning Point. I have my books for the other, the other two, the other two books, but I have not received. I usually, I usually get it around the 20, 21st. Something like that. I usually receive it about seven, eight days before the end of the month. But I did not receive it this this time around. But I'm hopefully going to get it within the next few days. So to coincide not having the book, I'm going to try to do it like I did it last month. When I misplaced my book, I had the book, but I misplaced it. It Something got laid on top of it, or I laid it next to my bed. Something got put on top of it, and I forgot it was over there. And something got laid on top of it, and then I was looking for something else and found it. So I'm going to have to pull it up, get my other system, either that or pull it up on my phone, because I could pull, pull it up on the online version so I could sit there and look. I might I might do it, make it easier, pull it up on my phone, on the phone and pull it up better so I could see it better. So, and basically, I'm not going to have, don't know what the beginning of the month is going to be like. So you just have to bear with me for a few days until I get my book. I, I think my uh, my little subscription thing for the book ran out. And they didn't send me the, the book didn't go out at, when it was supposed to. Well, I did pull up a thing saying um, I did find a link and I did find a thing that said get three free months. So I put my name in my address and all down so maybe I'll get three uh, it, the book the book will be um shipped to me uh, a little bit faster than so I'll have to wait a few days to get the new book so but I'll have to use I'll have to do the on, use the online version so basically I will not know what the next day's passage is gonna be until I get to well I may I may do because sometimes you have to wait till mid mid you know sometime in the morning time is when they switch to switch the days over and I won't be able to and I might not be able to put any tags or nothing on it unless I take if I use my phone I could take a screenshot of the page so that way I can refer back to the thing if I'm trying to make do the tags because by the time I do the things the next day's next day's devotion will already be ready to go so but but don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like. Remember, the like helps the video out. 
Um, remember the like challenge. Go back to the begin the morning video for explanation. How was your last day of the month? What are you looking forward to in the month, the coming month of March? I'm looking forward to spring, St. Patrick's Day, because I've already got a, a neat little hat to wear for the video. I've got some other stuff already done, already read uh, that I've used before, but I got me a new hat. It's just like this hat, but it's but it's got the the green and the shamrocks on it. Last year, I, I went to get one, a neat little hat, regular hat. And by the time I went to go get it, they were all sold out. So, so I had to suffice with some, another, another hat. But this year, I found one that looked cool. So I went ahead and got it as soon as I saw it. So, But... But um, subscribe if you do. Turn on notifications. Share the video and channel with your family and friends. Help me reach that 100 subscriber mark by my birthday, April the 18th. And I will greatly appreciate each and every one that helps me get there. Right now we're sitting at 36 subscribers. So we've got, we've got a hefty way of go. Seven weeks until my birthday. So let's get the ball rolling and get that number growing. Please, please, please help me. That's all I'm asking. Fulfill that one birthday wish. That's all I ask. And I will be happy, 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 happy. So, without further ado, let's be slow to chide, or however it's pronounced. Come on, come on, come on. Right there. See the word? Right there below my finger. C-H-I-D-E. The word hide, but and put the put the chide side, <laughs> slow to side. <laughs> I don't know. But Psalm 103, 11 through 14 is our recommended reading, and our verse 14 is the beginning passage. So since that is that, if you got your Bibles with you, turn to Psalm 103, verse 11 through 14. If you don't have your Bible handy, just follow along. And like some people have the Bible on the phone. So pull it up on the phone and look at it. Psalm. Psalm 103. 8.6. 1.2.103. Verse 11 through 14. And 14 is our main verse. 11. For as heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. And in the book, 14 there in the book says, for he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust. Same verse. So most believers live with a sense of, of sanctified dissatisfaction. We want to emulate the emotions, attitudes, reactions, and habits of Christ. We long to perfectly please him, but we're not perfect. Nor will it ever will be. Will never be perfect. He's the only perfect one. God is the only perfect one. Will will we live? Will we um stand up to his perfection? Yes. We will live up to that perfection, but we will never be totally perfect like him. We will be like him, but we'll be never we'll never be totally perfect perfect because there's no there's no such thing as total perfection he's the only one that can he, he's the only one that can live up to that total perfection we can't live straight up total perfection we could be near perfection but we'll never be totally 
perfect. But it says, but we're not perfect, nor will we be will we be until we get to heaven? But like I said, we won't be totally perfect. We'll be perfect, but we won't be totally perfect when we get to heaven. Like I said, you can't beat, you can't be perfect like God, like God and Christ. Christ is the only perfect one. We can, we can, we can stand up. We can be as perfect as Christ, but we'll never be perfect like Christ. Because nobody can be perfect like Christ. He's the only magnificent omnipotent one we can we can live up to those standards but we'll never outdo we'll never be the same i know probably some people would would look down at that one but um i'm just speaking from personal feelings that we will never be totally perfect we will be near perfect but we'll never be totally perfect if you think I'm wrong, let me know. I don't. I don't want to debate on that. I just. I just as personal, personal thoughts and feelings on it that we will never be totally. Even though it says we will never be perfect until we get to heaven, but we will be perfect, but not Christ-like perfect. You see what I'm saying? So this holy dissatisfaction should evermore prompt us toward greater personal holiness. But we must also realize God knows all about our imperfections, and he isn't surprised when we fail. Like the Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We all fall short of that glory. Amen? So the great hymn, Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven, by Henry Light, has a wonderful phrase to encourage us. The second stanza says, Praise Him for His grace and favor to our fathers in distress. Praise Him still the same forever, slow to chide, swift to bless. There's that slow to chide bit. So whenever you stumble or fall, Confess your sin quickly and ask for God's help in the future. We should, we should keep growing, but don't keep beating yourself up over forgiven sin. Remember, he knows our frame, that we are dust. But in his wonderful grace, he is slow to chide and swift to bless. And speaking of the Henry Light, he says, Father-like, he tends and spares us. Well, our feeble frame he knows. In his hands, he gently bears us, rescues us from all our foes. That's probably more of that um, hymn, Praise My Soul, the King of, he King of Heaven. And I don't know if I have that one in my uh, hymn book, but I'm not going to take the time to go get my book. the books in the other room. So I, I need to put that book back out here. Just in case something like that happens, I can look it up. I had one. What was it? I had one yesterday. Yesterday's turning point. Talking about wonderful grace of Jesus, greater than all our sins. Then that's another hymn. And I, I know that I know that hymn, so I could have looked it up and give it a little more input on it. But I, I, try, I tried to go through the verse, and I, I kept drawing a blank. I, I kept saying each time I said it, I'd, I'd say a little bit more of the, uh, a little bit more of it, and then I, I would draw a blank on the next part. And then when I took when I stopped recording, I remembered the whole the whole part of the verse. It's like, oh, <laughs> it's like that guy. I could have remembered it before I stopped recording, and oh well. But um, that's all I have for you, and all for your month of February. I do not know what tomorrow will hold.
I would, I do not know what tomorrow may hold. Now, when I get out here tomorrow to do, the next time I get out here to do tomorrow's passage, it'll already be, and hopefully by the time I get out here, it'll already be online, ready to go. The online version will be there, and then I can, as I do the thing, I'll say, okay, we're going to do this, this, and this. But I can't do a preview of tomorrow's right now. I can't do the preview. So we just have to, you just have to grin and bear it to tomorrow's uh, turning point episode to find out what we're going to do. I may be able to do the preview in the um, days of pr- the, the afternoon video. When I, when I record the afternoon video, I'll be able to look it up and give you a preview then. But... But until um, but until tomorrow, then we won't know. So sorry for the long. I don't know why I keep doing these long videos. I like doing ten minute videos, and that's it. At least fifteen. If I go over fifteen, I'm do I'm it gets it gets too long. But but tomorrow I do have I do have the other books. So tomorrow episode one thousand and five, part one. We will be talking about the dark. Oh, it's going to be a dust series video. Excuse me. A dust series and a Psalms Choice of Life video. Sorry. I don't know what number. Um, let me just a second. Oh, wrong book. Um, 146. It'll be number 146 of the Dove series, The Dark Valleys, plus the Psalms Choices of Life from Psalm 23, verse 4, from Henry M. Morris. That'll be at tomorrow's Wednesday for your glorious Hup Day Wednesday. That'll be at 7. And then the one at 1 o'clock, part 2, will be Finding Rest in Jesus from Marvin Williams to write from Matthew 11, 28 through 30. And then whatever the turning point is tomorrow night, then we'll have to deal with that. So with that said, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on trusting God and he'll keep you safe. And all you're saying, doing 2023 and beyond. And until tomorrow, peace out, everybody. Hope you had a great, wonderful month of February and look forward to what March has to offer. So until then, peace out, everybody. So long, farewell, come back tomorrow for the first day of a new month, the month of March, and see what God has to offer for them. So so until then, God bless everyone, God bless America, and I'll see y'all next month, which is tomorrow. So so hope you had a good hope you had a good February and March is even better. Seven weeks. From today is my birthday. Seven weeks. Boy, howdy. Seven weeks. <laughs> so get that number rolling. Don't forget to leave a like. And me and Baby Yoda, we out for tonight. So we'll see you tomorrow or next month. So bye-bye, everybody. Hope you had a good month of February. And we'll see you tomorrow for a new month of March. You heard it from him. We'll see you tomorrow. So until then, goodbye.